Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rajat. On this channel, I make videos on programming, 3D development and AR VR. So if you are interested in this emerging domain, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you are already a subscriber, thanks a lot for your support. So I recently came across something called Quexel content in uh, Unreal Engine. Now I wanted to, uh, of course you can use these Quexel assets in Unreal Engine, but I wanted to use this in Blender and it's actually possible, which is what I want to showcase uh, in this video. Uh, I'll show you how the steps on how to bring any Quexel content, any 3D asset or anything that you have stored in uh, Quexel to Blender. So there is one problem though that you cannot use MetaHumans. Now MetaHumans is an amazing tool um, where you can create humans, uh, very realistic human avatars, but you cannot bring it to Blender yet. Uh, we There's no support. It's only available for Unreal Engine and Maya. So we cannot bring MetaHumans into Blender yet. Right, first things first let's go to pixel.com slash bridge and then over here click download bridge so after downloading bridge just open bridge.exe file so that will launch your uh, installation bridge installation all right so we have uh, successfully installed bridge it was quick and i'll go to edit and then settings and then over here you see library path uh, mega scans you can set it to whatever you wish to um, over here api port is something that we'll be changing in just a moment so once uh, you have this installed go to 3d assets let's use this pumpkin all right uh, so in order to download this uh, you'll have to sign in so let's just sign in first. All right, once you have logged in, all right, let's select this pumpkin and then uh, go to export settings. Over here, uh, let's change the export target to Blender and then install that plugin. All right, once that's done, let's see if the textures and models and everything is set to Blender or not. So it looks like everything is set to Blender. That's awesome. And then go back and then change this to 2K resolution because I don't need a 4K resolution one. Uh, click download. So once that's downloaded, all right, that's downloaded. And now you can export this to Blender. See, uh, so you'll get this message, could not export assets. Please check log for details. And you also get this, could not send data over port to Double eight, double eight. So uh, there's a simple solution to this. Go to settings, and over here, just change this to two double eight, double eight. Now click export. Let's see what happens. All right, it's exported to Blender successfully. Now, uh, before doing this operation, before clicking on export button, it's always good to open up Blender. Now we have Blender open. Let's delete this cube, it's not required. Uh, go to bridge and then over here, I'll select pumpkin and then export. And now if you see closely, you see the pumpkin over here. Now that's from Quixel, right? And now like if I change it to the rendered view, let's see. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, uh, if you look closely, it looks really realistic. So now you are free to use all of the different assets from Quixel and then just download it into download it in your local machine and then export it. So let's uh, let's try another one. Let's go for this uh, melon. And then download this. All right, that's downloaded and now you can export it to Blender. So once that is exported successfully, now if I hide the pumpkin and we have the lemon over here. As simple as that. This melon can definitely be exported 
into a GLTF or GLB format, FBX, whatever you wish, right? And then obviously this same, uh, the same 3D model can be loaded into the browser using 3.js. So if you haven't checked out my 3.js uh, video, you can check it out right over here. It's in my YouTube channel. So if for some reason, if the asset is not getting exported to Blender and you're still facing some issues, uh, what you can do is press Windows plus R on your keyboard and then go to percentage app data percentage and then click OK. Now over here, you go to Blender Foundation and then Blender. So now just go to 3.1, just the previous version of the version that you have already installed. Go into scripts, startup, and then copy this, go back. And then in your latest version, that for me it's 3.2, for you it might be 3.3. Now go to 3.2, and then inside here, just paste that folder. That's it. The startup folder is now pasted uh, with this init.py. And then what you can do is blend, uh, just close Blender and open it once again. So I'll just close this and then launch it once again. All right. And remove this uh, cube and then open up bridge. And since Melon is already downloaded, let's try and export it to Blender. All right, exported successfully. And obviously it looks tiny. And if I zoom, all right, that's what it looks like. That's the melon. And this is what it looks like in the red view. All right, that's how you bring pixel content into Blender. Let me know if you're still facing any issues and I'll see how I can resolve it. All right, thanks for watching this video till the end and bye-bye.